Hello guys and girls and welcome to week number two of watching antlers grow. Watch antlers grow, watching antlers grow, I don't know what we called it exactly, but we got four deer, we've got four deer that belong to me. One of them, you know, well you know them all now after last week, Whitey and his brother Bazooka, and then Cyclops and then Bubba. And Bubba is the oldest of the one, the biggest of the deer, he's four years old. Now Cyclops and Bubba, if you'll remember, if you watched last week's video, if you haven't watched last week's video, go back there and watch that and you'll be really up to date on what's going on. But uh, those deer uh, are Iowa deer. We got them from Hagelin Ranch, Dale Hagelin, my buddy Dale. And, uh, and they were, we got those deer they, because they, we, we bought them, but we, we got them at a, you know, instead of having to pay $100,000 for them or something, uh, we got them uh, because one side of their, their antlers was messed up because of a deep shed or getting hung in the fence. I think it was hung in the fence is what happened. And that one side would probably never go, go back right. But I think maybe, at least on Bubba, I think it may be. We'll look at those deer here in a minute. But what we're going to do, just so you'll know on this video, is we're just going to air every Thursday night on Jimmy Houston Outdoors. So if you know hunters, if you have buddies that are hunters, tell them to go over and subscribe to this channel and watch this happen throughout the summertime. This is going to happen all summer long, and even into the fall when they shed their horns and stuff, and we'll see them in full velvet up in June or July, probably July, uh, the end of July when they get the, the largest they're going to get. Uh, but I mentioned to you last week, I'd show you some sheds of my, my, uh, my two boys that, that, were, uh, that were born right here on the ranch last year. And uh, this is... Um, this is this is um, um, this is Whitey right here. Whitey, of course, ran around, bred a lot of does. We hope we don't really know. We didn't really spy on him too much, but he was around the house a lot. We hope he's bred a lot of does. We hope he's got this genetics right here in several babies that will be born here on the ranch here this month and next month. And uh, we haven't seen any babies yet, but they should start popping out any day now. The does are getting really, really big. And uh, Lucy's triplets last year was born June 29th, so they can be born pretty late. Some of them were born in July after after Lucy had those triplets. This deer right here, uh, if I remember right, one two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11 by 8, 19 point deer, probably in the neighborhood, that's about the way he would sit right there, it's about the way he would sit right there, uh, probably in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 160 to 180, I didn't put a pencil to him, but, but that's a big deer, that is his very first horns, we're going to watch his second set of horns grow, so you're going to be able to watch this deer and see exactly what happens, now his brother, his brother, And I, I believe it's his brother. I haven't really looked at the tag to know exactly, you know, but I think it's his brother. I've been calling him his twin brother. It may not exactly be, if I can get these things turned around. This is his brother. <laughs> That's right. That's even bigger. This is like, I think, 13 by 13, or 13 by 12, if you don't count that little guy right there. But I think this is 13 by 13. Keep in mind, keep in mind, this is bazookas first horns that's right he's uh, shed these horns this spring all right and uh, this is this is his first set of horns right here uh, this deer uh, it was 18 months old in the fall so he's a one and a half year old deer they call him a one year one year old deer is what they call their first horns but this is it right here we're gonna watch these horns grow this year this guy is on up there maybe in the 200 class right now I have again I didn't put a pencil to him but it's, so I don't really know but you can see he's got 13 13 on each side so that's a 26 points they add up pretty good they'd be out there probably about like that so that's pretty wide also and uh, he looks really 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 huge for the first set of horns but anyway we're gonna go we're gonna go in and take a look at them now and uh, I'll uh, try to go back I also brought an apple I'm gonna put in my pocket and maybe see if I can get Cyclops uh, Cyclops and he's one that's got maybe messed up on one side and I think maybe he is not going to grow but one side out we'll see we'll see how that goes it'll be a lot of fun to watch but uh, we we're, all of these videos will be up on our, our Jimmy Houston YouTube channel we're going to put them up every Thursday night we hope that's what our goal is right there is to put them up every Thursday night but uh, what we're going to do is is you can always go back and check you can look at this first week uh, you can look at this first week which is last Thursday night go back and see what happened between uh, one week to two weeks and then you can maybe you can go back after six or seven weeks down and go back and look at week one or two and see it's just pretty amazing it's a miracle miracle deal the way that deer grow their antlers and these racks are going to get really really big and like i said bubba and cyclops may only grow on one side i don't know uh i believe that <laughs> I believe that uh, I believe that Bazooka and Whitey are going to grow both sides really, really good. Unless they get caught in a fence or something. I mean, you just don't don't ever know. And also, we have 100 degree days here in June, in July, and August, and 
it's really tough on these deer. We're hoping, hoping, hoping we can get all four deer through the fall and let them breed, but you just never know. You just don't know. That's why you want to have a lot of deer out there that's got the right kind of genetics to them so you can have a lot of big deer being born in a while out on the property. So guys and gals, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun watching antler grows huge, huge racks. Guys and girls, we all love huge racks, right? <laughs> Let's go take a look at them. Okay, here we go. Let's go back here and visit Whitey and his brother. Cyclops, I'll come talk to you a little bit later. Yeah, we'll come talk to you a little bit later. Let me slide this through here. Slide that over there and slip that up there. That'll hold all three of them. That is Cyclops right there. We'll, uh, I got an apple in my pocket. We're going to try to feed him. I know I can feed him through the... He gets, you know, if I'm on one side, if I'm on one side and he's on the other... If I'm on one side and he's on the other of a, of a fence, he just comes right up. And when I get in there with him, when I get in there with him, he's a little spookier. But we'll come back and see if we can get him. I got an apple in my pocket. We'll see if we can get him to eat an apple. See him licking my fingers there? He's going to be a pretty boy. We'll watch him grow. We'll talk about him here in a minute. But back here, we got the two. I think these guys are brothers. We'll look at their tags and see. I've been calling them brothers all along. But this is Whitey and Bazooka. These were deer that were born here on our ranch born here on our ranch last spring this is their second year's horns that they're working on right there that's their second horns you can see how big they are now whitey whitey we let whitey out i had to apologize for some of last week's video uh the sun was so bright and glaring so much that i had a really hard time <laughs> staying with my deer i sometimes i was showing like that you know without the without the top on them <laughs> so i got some real pictures of some feet uh but the deer have real pretty feet i gotta admit they got really pretty feet but uh this is bazooka and whitey right here you can kind of take a look from last week and then this is the only two deer in here and you can see the grass is growing up good they got a lot of grass to eat in addition they've got demand deer food they got south fresh deer food on demand they have all they want to eat so they're they're really in good shape and uh these guys are going to grow some really good horns. You can see there right now they've got a uh, coming up and splitting a real fast. You can take a look at what we had last week and see how much they changed just in a week. Of course, Whitey, you know, he, you know, he outside, he was really actually fairly tame outside. He got really bad sick. I gave him some shots. I gave actually Bazooka some shots too. You have to kind of fight in this hot weather to keep these deer alive. I mean, it's just really something. But you can see how big he's got there and kind of take a look at those those antlers and what they've grown in a week. This is week number two of this video series. And we're gonna shoot all summer long. Uh, we've got posts in all the, all, the, uh, all the pins. You see what happened there when I was down there like that? That's what I did last week. I showed a lot of shots like that because I couldn't see. The sun was so bright. We got a little cloud cover today so I can see my screen a whole lot better. And I don't know which is which. I think the bigger rack of the two last year was bazooka. He was a little bit larger. I kept him in here to breed does, and I let Whitey out and let him find catch his own does. In fact, he was a little mad at me. He said, hey, I was catching does. I had does pinned up down there, and you turned me loose. I had to run them down. But anyway, they worked out really, really good, and I'm hoping that he bred several does and be several of his babies born out in the wild. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. Now, you can see them over there. You see Cyclops. There's all three bucks right there together. Cyclops come over there where I came through there and, and uh, was visiting with me, and licking my hands and now these two right here won't quite come up to you like that whitey is pretty gentle i mean but he but, but really you know i mean i might be able to entice him with some food i might do that as we go on uh, i'm shooting all these videos by myself right now but when chris gets down here it's jordan or sherry or somebody that can do the camera work we'll do a little bit more and kind of play with them trying to trying to maybe get them to eat out of my hand a little bit uh, Chris fed these babies right here a lot of carrots when they were just babies, when they were little. Last year was their first horns. This will be their second horns. You can see how they're going there. And you see how thick they are. They, when you have those big balls out on the end, that means they're going to split out and turn into a lot of stuff. Now, these deer this last year, I uh, just showed you the racks off of these two, the sheds off of these two, and how big those antlers were. I think one of them 13 by 13. And looky there. Is that gorgeous? Look at him lay down in that grass. Isn't that pretty? I just, I can't, I'm telling you, I just love them to death. I just can't get, uh, I just can't get enough of looking at them and watching them. I just, I enjoy just spending time down here. And when they lay down and get, you know, kind of, they're a little spooky when you first come. Now, they're used to me being in here with them. 
but when you first come in here and get with them they're a little spooky and you get up close but uh but chris fed these these guys right here she'd bring carrots down and feed them when they were babies she had, now they might she let her walk up on them no problem i would imagine that that guy there is probably going to go down there and lay down too because they're fine but they're just absolutely gorgeous i mean just beautiful beautiful now one of the great things about this is like i said you can look back this is week number two you can look back a month from now, two months from now, three months from now, and kind of take a look and see how these things have changed because they will change a lot. I mean, they will really, really change a lot. And we've also, we've got, we've got posts uh, driven into the ground on all of these, uh, in all of these. You can see that right there. That's a big post that's driven in there. You can see how they've rubbed it from last year. We've got that in every single every single pin and it's there just for the deer to get the velvet off of their antlers all righty let's go see if we can get cyclops let's go see if we can get cyclops okay cyclops hey hey buddy hey buddy hey cyclops come here come here are you gonna go over and lay down looky here looky here what i got hey looky here you're lazy cyclops looky here come here come here you're a lot better off with deer by letting them walk up to you. It doesn't matter. Come here, Cyclops. Look at here. See, if you let them walk up to you as opposed to you walking up to them. Now, you know, Cyclops is one of them that I said I might not. Come here, buddy. Come here. Here, looky there. Looky there. That's an apple. Oh, yeah. That's good, isn't it? He's one of them that uh, his right horn, obviously, or antler is going to grow back a lot more than the, uh, than the left one is. You can see it's got two in there, and that might not grow big at all. Oh, he's smelling them. He's smelling those that I left up on top of that feeder. See those laying on top of that feeder right there? He went down and picked up some had laying on the ground. He's going to just go get him a little food. Cyclops, come here, buddy. Come here. Now, I'm just positive. Come here. Come here. Hey, look, you look around that. Come here. Come here. 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 Hey. Their nose is so amazing. They can smell so well. They start looking around. Cyclops. You know, now I tell you what I believe, and I'm going to save some of this apple because I really believe, I really believe I could go over there. I really believe I could go and feed him through the uh, through the fence. You see, though, he doesn't that fence. He knows that that fence is between me and him, and he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't really worry about it too much. You see this, but yet he hasn't come up and eaten out of my hand, and I believe that he will. Let's see what he's doing right here. Come here, buddy. Here, you see that? He doesn't want to. He just doesn't want to. He said, well, you're throwing it on the ground. If I just wait, you'll throw it on the ground for me. I've got some more laying up there on top of that feeder that I cut. There you go. There you go, buddy. You see him look up at me. You can see the right side of those antlers are big and thick, and that's going to turn into a lot of points. The other side, the other side has got two. Now, that may, they may only grow up a little ways and not go any further. I really don't, really don't know. They may not go very far. And ran there and got him something to eat. He's smelling those apples and he's looking for them. He doesn't know where they are and they're up on top of that feeder. Uh, but I cannot get him. I cannot get him when I'm over here right now at least to take an apple out of my hand. Here you go. Come here, Cyclops. Hey, buddy. Here. He said, I'll eat him off the ground all day long, old Jimmy. I'll eat him off the ground all day long. Yeah, the left side that you're looking at there, his right side is going to be a big, big, big rack. The other side might not be. Might not be. We're going to go look at Bubba in a minute ago, and he's got the same problem uh, in that he got caught in the fence or had a deep shed or something, and one side might not grow back. But it looks like both, side, both his sides are growing back. We'll watch that through the winter, I mean through the spring and, and summertime, and we'll watch and see what happens. I'm going to zoom in on him so you all can get a good look at him. That's out there full. You can see what he looks like. That's Cyclops. Now, I know last week I got to call him Bazooka a time or two. I couldn't, uh, I, I don't know, I just get confused on everything. But, but anyway, that's, that's Cyclops right there. And uh, he's the guy, his rack may be kind of goofy looking, but I bet he's big, big, big on one side. So anyway, Cyclops, I'm going to carry some of those apples with me and go into that other pen where Bubba is and try to get some good video of Bubba. Bubba's really wild. I mean, he's a big old deer, five or six years old, and he's really wild and uh but he's he's like a 300 pound deer and if both sides grow out he's going to be a 300 score too but now one of his sides did not grow out last year and we'll see what happens this year 
but that's Cyclops right there. Now we've looked at uh, we've looked at Whitey and Bazooka, and we've looked at Cyclops. Let's go take a look at. Uh, I want to get on the other side and carry some of these apples. See if I can feed him through the pen because I want to get him eating out of my hand if I can as the summer goes on. That'll be kind of cool. All right, Cyclops. I know you smell those. We'll go f try to find you. See if I can get you to eat through that wire. All righty, buddy. Well, you look at the size of that doe and see the other two. And one of them is just a yearling, but that other doe is a, a year and a half or so. But look at that big one. She is a giant. And you know, she's big and fat before they started getting fat with babies. So hopefully she's going to have a couple of baby fawns here pretty soon. But look at the size of that doe. She is just absolutely huge. Hopefully uh, she has two big old twin, twin boys. That would be nice. That yearling probably will not have a baby. Kind of hope it doesn't have a baby. But uh, we've got 19 does is what we've got. So we should have a lot of babies showing up pretty soon. That'll be fun too. That will be fun also. Okay, Cyclops. Those uh, that metal's in here to block the north wind. We got metal in here to block the north wind building so they can get out of the sun. But the metal's in there so they can lay behind. It also gives them a little shade. And uh, they like to lay behind those. Cyclops, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, look at here. How about an apple? How about an apple? Want that apple? Hmm? Now, I think he'll probably eat out of my hand once he gets over here close. See, he's picking that apple up there. We're going to give him some stuff out of the garden also. We'll give him some, uh, some squash and cucumbers. They like stuff out of the garden. Tomatoes. See, now, he, you almost want to let him walk up to you. They, you're, they're not. See how he's kind of spooky? Now, but now, if he'll turn around and walk back to me, now, looky here. And he took that right out of my hand. That's what I want you to do. But now he didn't want to do that. He didn't want to do that when I was in there with him. But you see how he come up and took that one? Let's see what he does. Come on, Cyclops. I'll have more. Come here, Cyclops. Come here, buddy. Come here. Now, if you'll just let him come up to you. Uh, 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 he's wanting to lay back down. He's lazy. Time of the day. There you go, buddy. Now, that's pretty cool right there. And see how different it is, and a, he knows he's safe because there's a, a fence in between me and him. That's really something. Now you can see those antlers up really, really close. I've got them cutting pretty big pieces. I've got only one left, but you can see those up really close. He's gonna, he might have to go get him a drink of water. I don't know after that big bunch of. I got one more piece, Cyclops. You want it? I got one more piece. You can come back and get it if you want it. I got one more. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Come here. If you want it, you better come get it. I'm going to give it to somebody else. There's a lot of people here to eat this. You want it? You can come get it. There you go. Is that cool or is that cool? That is so cool. And that'll be cool when he's got a big old rack on him. Or we might just have a rack on one side. We don't know. But that's cool. That's cool. That's all I got, pal. That's all I got. You can lick my fingers, but that's all I got. Hmm. That's all I got. He's still a little nervous. Ah, buddy. Be careful now. Don't be biting. Don't be biting. You can lick it, but don't be biting. Don't be biting me. They like their head scratch. I like they, they, they just, uh, I think, you see what he's doing there? He's kind of rubbing the top of those antlers. You've got to be careful with these boys. Once he gets big, you got to be really careful with them. Once they get big and we get closer to rut, yeah, I mean, you won't see Jimmy walking around in there with them. But I'll just be shooting through the fence. All right, Cyclops, that's all the stardom you get for this week. You're a pretty boy. Yes, you are. And now Bubba. And now Bubba. Bubba is the king of the woods, no doubt about that. He's very wild. He's very wild. Jimmy, try to keep your camera up there. Zoom all the way in. Now, you look at that. Now, he's changed a lot in a week. He really has. We'll try to get up as close to him as we can. He's pretty wild. He's going to run a lot. He's just not nearly as tame as the other deer. And uh, now he's more tame if you are outside the fence. But even if you're outside the fence, look at that drop coming off the side. Now, he was had really one side had very little on it. Uh, 
one side had very little on it last year and it looks like both sides are going to come out really well and this is a really high that deer was bred out of semen uh, 20,000 straw semen for his uh, uh, his mama and his also for his grandma it's uh, another 20,000 so he's uh, he's a double a double semen deer and uh, a third generation down or second generation whatever you want to call it and uh, he is a big one. I'd like to get a little bit better picture of him just so you can look at it. I'm zoomed in all the way. I just almost sort of have to get in the middle. This is a large pin, but I have to get in the middle. A lousy camera work, Jimmy. I have to get in the middle here and get as close to as I can, but he's not going to let you walk up very close to him. And he hopefully has bred every one of these does right here. You can see him running right there. That's some more of the metal that's over there to block the north wind. So when it got down so cold and the lake froze over and everything, those deer could get behind that and get out of that north wind and cut the chill temperature. Now you can see that it looks like both sides of that is going to grow really good, but the, the right side is the side that was messed up, and it looks like it's going to do a lot. They're not going to be anywhere close to the same, but that deer will have lots of stuff up there. And if both sides of those keep growing, you can see everything's getting big. He's got a big drop tine sticking out one side. He's just going to be a giant rack. And uh, I don't know. I mean, we just don't know that one side may stop growing any day. I mean, it may just go to a little bit and stop. The other side should grow to completion all the way out. Don't know what's going to happen there with Bubba. Bubba is a 300 pound deer. You can see how large he is. Some of those other deer there with him are really, really large does. Uh, but he is, uh, and he just, he just a nervous guy. He just, I just can't get a real, up real, really close to him. Uh, and it, this iPhone will only zoom in six power, but we can be, really be able to take a Jimmy hold that thing. When it's up like that, you got to hold it real steady too, uh, which is hard for me to do when I'm walking. But you can see how much he's changed in a week. This is one week. He's changed that much in a week. I mean, and that's a lot. And you can take a look at me there. You can see how those have all still got bulbs or balls out on the end of them and uh, the, the antlers that is and uh, and uh, and those are going to branch out even more i mean that's going to stuff stuff just go everywhere and probably on both sides stuff will probably go everywhere on both sides that one big sticker sticking out that uh, left hand side you know or his left hand side we're looking at the right hand and that's going to have some extra stuff on it it looks like too it's not going to be just one drop tine sticking out there it's going to it's going to have some extra stuff on it He's going to be just really, 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 really something special. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Call your buddies and have them subscribe to Jimmy Houston Outdoors if they want to watch these deer antlers grow throughout 2021 because it's going to be interesting to watch and we'll have some fun talking about them. Like I said, we've got posts where they can rub that, uh, they rub the uh, velvet off. Uh, they'll hit the maximum long about July when they will be just hopefully really, really big. And, you know, you can go back and look a week, a week or two early, two, three weeks early, a month early, two months early, and see how they look and how much they change. It's one of the miracles of God's creation right there, how much a deer and an elk adds in horn mass every year. Because they're not like horns. That when an animal grows horns, uh, they doesn't ever shed them. But the animals that grow antlers, they shed them. And these, uh, they drop those antlers every year. We'll have the antlers off of these at the end of the year and be able to look up at them really, really close. But isn't he, isn't he gorgeous? Isn't he beautiful? Isn't he beautiful? Uh, we're going to be a little more careful as the weather warms up. We don't want him running at all in these pens, you know. But isn't he, isn't he gorgeous? I mean, I love deer. I just absolutely love them. I fall in love with them. And, uh, and that's it. All right, guys and girls. And that's looking at all four of the bucks. Seem to be doing real good and adding mass. Hey, little squirrel, what'd you do? Did you find you a place for free lunch every day? You been in here eating deer food for free lunch every day? You sure have. You know, there's a lot of places over in eastern Oklahoma you don't see very many fox squirrels, and down here in southern Oklahoma, we have a lot of fox squirrels. And that guy right there, he's going to not move. He thinks he's kind of hid. He's right close by here, but he, he thinks he's hidden and he, and because he's sitting real still. That's one of the tricks of just about any animals is to sit very, 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 very still. And, uh, uh oh, now he looked over at me, heard me talking. 
He said, Jimmy, I hope you don't like squirrel stew or fried squirrel. Well, as a matter of fact, Mr. Squirrel, I do. But you live here on the pen. I'm going to let you just enjoy free deer food. Surely he can't eat too much. Look how fat he is. He's been eating a lot, hasn't he? He is a fatty patty, that little guy is. He's pretty. I like him. Okay, that's it, guys and girls, for week number two of uh, watching antlers grow or watch antlers grow, whatever, however we even call it. Big racks, big racks. We like big racks. And uh, that's week number two. We're going to be doing this every week all through the summer. We'll get into the fall when their antlers get down and kind of hopefully maybe get them uh, rubbing some of those posts out there and stuff. But it's going to be very, very interesting. If you're not subscribed to Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you'll never miss the video. We post a video every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday sometime and thursday we post this video here this is a new series we just started so sunday monday thursday friday and wednesday sunday monday wednesday thursday wednesday thursday friday <laughs> so i guess the only two times we don't post it sometimes we, if we're doing something that's kind of cool we post that video also so subscribe to jimmy used outdoors youtube if you're not on our catch of the day channel go in there and subscribe to catch of the day if you're watching this on facebook get over there on youtube it doesn't cost anything to subscribe Usually, if you just subscribe to something, you got to pay a subscription rate. You don't have to on YouTube. Absolutely free. Subscribe to our Catch of the Day channel and the Catch of the Day channel. We read a devotional every morning. We read a scripture every morning. And we have a fishing tip for every day of the year. And we post those videos every morning, 5 o'clock Central Time. Uh, we've got about 16,000 people on there right now. We've got over 100,000 people on our regular YouTube channel. Over 600,000 on Facebook. So guys and gals, go out there and have you a great one today. Make it a fun day and remember, <laughs> I sure do love you.